Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Welcome to the Retro Spinal Cord Engine Games. I hope you're ready for this all day event. First, we have to register online or at the event to get a t shirt with the game's logo on it and a lunch. This is one of my favorite days of the year because the Rancho Spinal Cord Injury Games only come around once a year, usually in October. But this year, it will be held Saturday, September 13, 2014. Now we're on the field. You will see various, you will see people with various disabilities playing different sports. Basketball, football, tennis, rugby, power soccer. There's even an obstacle course for manual and power wheelchairs and many more activities. The Laker girls are there signing autographs, taking pictures. The marketplace is donating food. Now you know this is cool. My favorite sport to watch is the wheelchair basketball. I like the way they dribble, shoot three-pointers, take it to the hall and do layups as if they was walking. This is exciting to watch because they don't let their disability interfere with them having fun at all. It's so exciting that it makes me want to get up and play. Trust me, if I could, I would. But I enjoy it from the sidelines. Another, another exciting, another exciting event is when they play football in their wheelchairs. I love the aggressive way that they play. They set up plays, throw the ball long, and come out the backfield. Sometimes they cheer slamming to each other, making this loud metal crashing sound. And sometimes they might fall off the chair, or the chair tips over. For those of us that send wheelchairs, find this to be fun and funny. But those that can walk, they have this concerned look on their face as they try to help. But before you know it, they're back up on their own, or they get help from other players that are on the field to do this all over again. Forgot to mention, sometimes physical and occupational therapists and friends of patients will also get in the chairs to compete with those that's already in chairs. And that is real funny to watch the maneuver around in the real <laughs> Now, now, I used to just watch the obstacle course, but now I participate. Because a friend of mine talked me into doing it. And I told her I don't like people staring at me. And she said, if you don't do it, I'm going home. So I gave in and I did it. I navigated around some cones. I even had to go backwards then turned back around to manage a ramp. I even had to push a stool with wheels across the finish line. And it got away from me and I had to go back and get it. To my surprise, I did pretty well. I did it in 56 seconds. And almost took second place. The following year in 2011 when I did it again, I didn't do so well. But 2013, I did it again in 56 seconds. Something about this 56 seconds. <laughs> so this year, I'm planning on competing again and hopefully beating my own time of 56 seconds and taking first place. The 
therapists and the volunteers do a great job, a wonderful job. They're getting this all together and refereeing the different events. There are many awards that's handed out on that day in ribbons. But at the end of the day, everyone is a winner. Friends and family members, we're so elated that there's such an event as this to celebrate and involve their loved ones. This provides excellent opportunity for patients to experience different wheelchair sports. The feeling of competition brings back memories and help me to believe all is possible once again. Trust me when I tell you the spinal cord injury games is something to see. I tell anyone I always invite my family and friends and anyone that I talk to to come out to the event. The games are coming again in September and I will be there to compete. I will give, all, I will give you all plenty of notice and I will be there to greet you to the games. Now, does anyone have any questions that they would like to know about the spinal cord injury games? Of course you would. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do you? Okay. This is not of my character, but I have someone asked me this when I was in the game. I want to know, what's the true meaning of grandchildren? Guys are in wheelchairs. You should just be grateful, just being alive. What do you actually need in grandchild games for? So, because the games show that we're just not limited to just sitting at home watching TV and just wasting our life away, it gives us an opportunity to show that we have no barriers just because we're disabled. You're only disabled by what you think you can do. And we can show everybody that we can do and compete just like anyone else. Ask the therapist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. In the wheelchair basketball, how do they manage to pass the ball? It's, a, it's just two things. So there's how do you pass the ball and then this three point shot? I mean, how do they do that actually? Well, actually. They're allowed to dribble, you get two pushes, and then you get to dribble. And you set up and you shoot it, just like a normal person would. They're just doing it sitting down. Anyone else? I have a question. Yes. Do you ever compete against other cities? Bradshaw does have their own basketball team, and they do compete with other cities, parks, and anyone else that would like to participate. You don't have to be in a wheelchair. Like, if you want to come and compete, we'll give a chair to you so you can compete too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the paramedics and the fire department to come to the right to engage. And they got in the chairs to compete with those that's already in the chairs. Trust me, that was a real fun to watch. <laughs> it really was. Because you know they're slamming their chairs in there, and they don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Did you run to Los Amigos? Yes, sir, I'm down. Anyone else? I have a question. Are these uh, nationwide, or is it international? No, just right here in the city of Downey. It's a local? A lot of people come from a lot of different places 
to see this particular event. My time is up. Madam Toastmaster.